All right, I just found out how to turn on braking on this uh, Emacs Nighthawk. So, it took me a little while to figure out, so I wanted to sh share it with people to save you a little bit of trouble. Um, so I want to show the effect of braking first. So first I'm going to plug, plug this in. I have the motors tab up. I don't even have my transmitter on right now, but uh, it should be ready to go. No props on. Let me turn on the motors tab, and I think I've programmed these two, number one and two, for braking. So you should be able to tell when I turn... Yep, that's true. When I turn on the motors and decrease the throttle quickly, these ones closest to the camera, they stop spinning almost immediately. That's what you want. Because that way you get that, uh, you get rid of that floaty feeling in the air when you decrease throttle. See how long these ones spin? Compare that with this. So that's what you want. I'll be back with the next little part. All right, so these are the instructions that we posted in the um, in the thread there. I'll post a link to this as well. But basically it has programming via transmitter, which is a little bit disingenuous because you, you can't use your transmitter. You have to control each of the motors independently. And in order to do that, you have to use the motors tab. So according to the instructions, you want to connect the battery with the throttle all the way to the top. So in order to do that, you turn on your motor test button right here. Um, and the next one I'm going to do is motor 3. So I'm going to pull motor 3 all the way to the top and then plug in the battery. And you'll hear some beeps. That's the normal initiation beep. I don't know if... Ah, so there's the programming beep, that little song there. So now it's cycling. Number 3 is cycling through each of these parameters. That was number four, and each of those parameters correspond with a different programmable setting, such as brake type, timing mode, start force. Um, I don't really think there's much need to mess with the other settings, but braking is certainly something we want to turn on. So that's the, conveniently, it's the first setting that you can do here. So I missed it, so I have to cycle through. So we have the throttle all the way up right now, and then once we get back to the setting that we want to change, we need to pull the throttle down quickly. So we're currently on, okay, it's coming up now. Okay, now see it changed beeps. Now it's indicating the two types of braking. See how it's cycling back and forth between 1 and 2? If you look on D1 brake type, it says there's two options. Off and on. The default is off, and that was the one beep. So the instructions say here, after you find the setting that you want, you just bring the throttle all the way back up to the top. So right after it beeps twice, to indicate on, I'm going to bring the thing, bring the throttle back up to the top. So. All right. And that indicated that it was saved. So all we have to do now, it's a, it has this little thing for exit programming mode. You don't need to really do that, I found. So you can just uh, unhook the battery. Right, unhook the battery. And then what you can do is Uncheck that. Well, you don't need to really uncheck it. Bring everything back to center. Plug your battery back in like normal, no programming mode. They all initiate. And then I can test to see whether number three is doing the same thing as one and two now. So here we go. Yeah, see how it stops? Four is still spinning. All these stop. Fantastic. So, um, that's going to be really great because there's really no way to take this this electronics board here apart to do any kind of soldering and use an Arduino like you might use for other 
um, ESCs because they have this plastic coating on everything to protect it from water, which is a good idea. But it makes programming difficult unless you use this method. So I hope this helps. I probably encourage everyone to activate this because um, it makes it a lot more responsive to throttle input. Uh, thanks for watching.